Hi, my name is Craig Necco. I'm the vehicle equipment specialist here at Adams Industries. And I'm here today with Michael Ortiz from Federal Signal. We're going to be demonstrating the Pathfinder integrated siren system with Rumbler. Uh, so it uses vehicle integration to control a lot of the lighting systems and stuff like that. We're going to demonstrate that for you today. So right here, what you see is uh, slide switch three and drive. Uh, all the patterns on the light heads are going to be a faster pattern and they alternate with the white. This gives a higher visibility as the vehicle's moving and calling for the right of way, whether it's through intersections or just cutting through busy areas. That extra white light really gives a lot of warning. This mode here is park mode. All of the light heads slow down the pattern and also re reduces the white light that's flashing behind the, the color. This helps to still notify traffic that this is a emergency vehicle, but it's not as blinding to uh, people, pedestrians trying to pass the vehicle and things like that. It really cuts down the amount of light. So the Pathfinder platform is capable of doing dual tone. On channel, so channel one, you would have your normal siren speaker, and then the second channel of the Pathfinder can drive rumbler speakers. So right now, you're gonna hear just the siren tone out of speaker number one. Rumbler siren tone to those siren tones you just heard. The Rumbler adds a certain amount of, of low frequency siren tone that's very attention getting to vehicles that are tightly sealed up ahead of you that you're trying to get to move out of the way. This here is a simple cruise mode. All you see on the first press of the button is a couple of modules on the interior light bar light up on cruise mode. Once you hit the button a second time, it adds the rest of the vehicle, and some of the perimeter lighting we've added a cruise flicker to. The Pathfinder siren system can integrate to the vehicle, so we can see when a door is opened on the vehicle. You'll see an instance here where the light head is flashing while the door is closed. When the officer goes to exit the vehicle, that light head will turn off. And once you close the door, the light head returns back to its flashing state. So here we have our flush mount light heads underneath the fascia for the license plate. And these are actually set on a timer. So when you pop the rear tailgate, they do not turn on until three seconds time has passed. That way there, they're not blinding the officer as the tailgate's coming up, but they're giving rear warning to vehicles that are coming up on the vehicle. And then as we close it, those lights will turn off. We have a 2020 Ford Police Specific Utility here with a ProGuard Pro Cell Single Prisoner Transport System. This system's equipped with window bars and block out plates for the door controls. It's available with an optional outboard seatbelt system. This one uses the stock seatbelts here. This Ford also has a Havis low profile console installed with a flip up armrest, cup holder option. Also, there's a uh, permanent mount map light and a DNR universal laptop mount. In the rear of the vehicle, we've installed the DNR subfloor along with the DNR single drawer storage system. Also, the DNR subfloor is equipped with an equipment tray where we can neatly install all the electronics. Along with the DNR subfloor and single drawer storage cabinet, there is also a loft, system, loft gun rack system installed.
We've installed some accessory dome lights as well to help light up the vehicle at night when you're getting here quicker. 